Okay, so most of this weekend was spent sorting stuff. Pulled the stuff out of the closet. Did some a little bit of 3D printing to see if there's any interest in any of those holders. Uh, but it feels like I should have started it a month ago. I've got boxes strewn all over the house. I'm looking forward to, I think tonight I can get the box of games, at least one of the boxes of games downstairs. I've got most of those entered in on the spreadsheet. I uh, don't have prices for them, but I've got them listed on there to know what I've got. So I, if I've got time, wherever I'm at, hopefully I can pull it up on my phone and start looking up sold listings on eBay. Feels, feels rather overwhelming and daunting just trying to move one box to this place and then <laughs> sort through it and then <clears throat> other boxes and then consolidate boxes and then figure out what do I want to take. Um, like I guess I think I've got one of the closets basically done and I put some of the stuff back into that closet that, I'm, that I don't know I'm going to hold on to or that actually so it's just some, some Lego sets that I'd like to put together once I get time. Um, but as soon as I did that, close the door, put boxes in front of it. I'm like, oh, I need to put this. It would be great if I could put this in there. And if I put this in there, I was like, no, I need to go ahead and get some boxes sorted. <clears throat> or not necessarily sorted, but go through the box. Um, list what I've got so, it, so it's in that spreadsheet. And then take that box downstairs so I can take up space someplace else. I guess it's going to be a lot of what happens this week. Uh, so we grab in a box, go through it, list it, and then take it downstairs. I think once I start taking stuff downstairs, it'll really help. Because it'll help with just the, the clutter and confusion that I'm overall general feeling just for this thing happening. Um, I'm hoping to get post-it notes, small post-it, smaller post-it notes, you know, little one inch square or whatever size they are, about that big, and write prices on those. The idea is to have colors for, alright, like, red's going to be firm price, yellow will be more leeway to haggle, and green will be even more room to haggle. If there's stuff bundled, and if it's cash, that's one thing I keep trying to remind myself is, all right, I need to tell the munchkin and the missus that when we're talking about price, when you say, is it crack? Crash? Is it crash? Yeah, because the whole thing is going to be a train wreck. Ah! No. Is it going to be cash or is it credit? Credit or cash? Cash, credit. Which, which way are you going? If it's cash, there's a little bit more room, wiggle room to move because you don't have all the charges and stuff. Um, let me see if, how to get a QR code or something for my PayPal. And then... See if there's something that we can do like that for the Munchkins Square. So, I mean, I'm excited, but there's just, it feels like there's so much to do. And working full time, and I'm hoping I can get two or three hours in the night on this. Uh, but we'll see. You know, and I, I think if I had everything, if I had er everything that I had pulled out now, and I had that on the spreadsheet, I think I'd have plenty of stuff to take. I imagine. I'm going to end up going, oh, well, I need to decide if I'm going to take this, am I going to take that. Uh, even last night, I was looking at some of the games, particularly for the original Xbox, and I was like, you know, I might want to hold on to these, but I'm like, I don't know the last time I played the Xbox how much, actually, I think the last time I pulled it out may have been to actually test some of these games a year or two ago. Same with some of the Lego sets. It's like, okay, well, I don't, you know, am I actually going to get around to putting this together or am I going to put it together and then just throw it back in a box? Or am I going to want to display it? Some other things with some of the action figures. Is okay, what am I actually doing with these? Oh, and then trying to clean up some of the games and remove price stickers on that. Some of, I'm knowing some of the toys. Oh, people and their stickers. And hopefully between the post-it notes and the spreadsheet, we'll easily be able to look up um, prices. And on the spreadsheet, there should be... I'm hoping to have links for everything for sold listings. So if somebody wants to haggle, like a lot, I can be like, look, pull up, this is what the sold listings are on eBay. 
And if I do it again, then I can just remove the items I don't have anymore, the items that I've sold, and then I can just add to it or take stuff off as it goes. And hopefully I won't have to do it. It won't be as difficult or as time consuming to do it again because right now I'm entering everything. We'll see. Yeah, that's update. That, oh, and it's Monday morning on my way to work. It's a little chilly. Probably getting a little bit warm in, in the truck, but... And that's one other thing. It's like, okay, <laughs> Friday is... You can go in and start setting up. So Friday, I think we're taking the tables. I'm going to take a few things. There's some stuff that's, you know, higher end. I'm like, I don't really want to take this <laughs> just yet. And it'll probably leave with me when I leave on, on Saturday night. Just run the red lights. And I'm also trying to find, like, okay, do we need some sheets? Do I need to go buy some shelving so that I can stack stuff vertically and not just horizontally? Which I think the vertical stuff will be good for some of the Lego sets that are a little bit bigger. As you put those out, those are just going to take up a ton of space. see. Another thing is, do I actually want to buy vertical shelving? Because once it's over, then what do I do with it? Throw it in the attic and then wait for the next one, I guess. But I don't know. Time will tell. Update in the next couple days.